in the midst of the Karnataka elections and is around Rahul Gandhi, who has declared his prime ministerial ambitions, saying that he could become prime minister in 2019, saying if the Congress is the largest party, I might be a prime minister. Let's go across to Sunetra Chaudhary. Sunetra, a, a very interesting and the stuff really of headlines because we haven't really heard Rahul Gandhi there talk about, you know, his prime ministerial ambitions or aspirations till now, have we? Well, no. In fact, this is the kind of change that we were told that had finally come about last year <coughs> when he became Congress president and he agreed to, of course, uh, that the whole build up to that lasted about a year or so when in 2016 or before that when they said that, you know, the change is coming, when they said that he is uh, completely accepted, he's ready to become prime minister. And that's what actually brought the change about. Of course, uh, also accelerated by the fact that Mrs. Sonia Gandhi, uh, his mother, the former former Congress president was uh, totally out of retirement and she had been pushing him to take over. But this uh, ambition seems also a very calculated move. I mean, if you were thinking of 2018 being a lead up to 2019 elections, then what you would perhaps want to see is that kind of clarity in front of viewers to say, in fr I beg your pardon, in front of voters to say that, look, there, here is person who is leading the opposition party or is uh, or wants to lead the opposition party and he has no kind of, uh, he has no hesitation in saying that he is ready to be prime minister uh, because what many in the Congress are also looking at very closely is the fact that they don't want that kind of hesitation that was there before. They don't want the voter to be confused at all. In fact, they don't even want that kind of situation where you wouldn't know uh, going into an election who is the prime ministerial candidate. Is it Rahul Gandhi? Is it not? Even though uh, it had perhaps become very clear, but it, it was just a public declaration of it which was missing and that is we are seeing now. It may not be the first time that he is saying it, but perhaps it is one where he is saying it right at the end of uh, the campaigning. Campaigning, of course, ends on Thursday. We have polling on Saturday. It's, it's been an election which is very, very, uh, you know, it's been a vitriolic one where we've seen a lot of uh, swords being crossed, a lot of mud being flung at, uh, at uh, from both quarters side. Uh, and so in this particular one, in order to, if, if the other side, if the ruling party, if the BJP, if their trump card was pushing in Prime Minister Modi to do a kind of last flourish before voting day. Let's uh, not forget he's done 21, uh, 21 poll campaigns, he's done 21 public meetings across the state. Uh, and if he has managed to, as BJP is claiming, that he has managed to garner everyone together, he's always the star campaigner. Well, this might be the kind of move uh, from the Congress's side in making sure that word gets out that he is somebody who's ready to take on this leadership, that it's not just the Congress party, that he's confident enough to proclaim that the Congress party will be the one which is the largest party. And if that is a scenario that he becomes prime minister, none of the situation of 2004 they want to project in which Sonia Gandhi refused to take on that, uh, take on that position because of the kind of uh, attacks that she was facing and in, in retrospect, in, uh, otherwise going on, of course, to uh, and giving it up to Manmohan Singh. So they want to make sure that they have the message across that there is clarity within them. Of course, the question now, Natasha, is which you can ask from uh, when we speak to other political parties is whether the allies are as keen.